Salutations. I wanted to talk about the dark side of the moon and the Chinese landings that have gone on. This is recent, all right? And I think a lot of people are talking about it, but yet not exploring it to the degree it should be. Um, I've already done a video on the dark side of the moon and the moon and several things that go along with that. So I won't spend a lot of time rehashing that, all right? Just that uh, there's some things that Richard Hoagland had said that were on the dark side of the moon. He has pictures of the shard, the tower. Uh, there was a gentleman, I think Raymond Bernard was his name, that had a book called Somebody Else is on the Moon that I found as a kid. It had some things that looked like some uh, tractors and devices on it. You've got Ingo Swan's book, which he was remote viewing the moon long before they were doing remote viewing as we know it now, but he saw some structures there. Also, what I had heard some of the gurus and swamis say about we incarnated through the dark side of the moon, and also we went back there when we were in the dream state. So that's just a few things that I've talked about on the first video. I ask that you please go back and watch that on this channel if you've not. It's the dark side of the moon on here, and the shard is what I called that video. Anyway, let's talk about these new landings that have gone on. Um, what I find interesting is one is the landings came from this thing that's called it's a, the Chang E satellite that uh, released a thing called, what is it, the Jade Rabbit, I think, which is another type of a ran, land rover that went around surveying the dark side of the moon. And also they've got another satellite in orbit that's transmitting, I think, the telemetry here to Earth. So I found that interesting. Now... Richard Hoagland. Let's talk about him. He is not dead. I heard a lot of people saying, oh, he's dead. He's not dead. He's still very active. Richard Hoagland. And I wanted to see what he was saying about these, these Chinese moon landings. I advise everybody, I put the link on here in the comments section, to go to enterprisemission.com, his website. He's talking about this, these landings right now. He's talked about some of the other landings from the other chain satellite which was a different model i think um <clears throat> very interesting because i had read some things about this that all this telemetry was being released by the chinese on whatever their website or uh tv however they're doing it they were releasing releasing these pictures and there was nothing great about it but when you listen to what richard hoagland said he's saying that this is a type of disclosure the chinese government is doing and that when you look at these pictures I've got several of them I put on here. They're from his website, all right? Uh, <clears throat> he's saying that it, they are confirming everything that he's been saying in his book, Dark Mission. And he's been talking about the whole time, which is fascinating. So he's got certain things on there that he's pointing out, which is our, uh, appears to be a pyramid and some mountains in the background, he said, are actually these shards and these, uh, these structures that are eroded for meteor impact but he's saying now that he thinks they're a type of opalized glass, opalescent glass, a type of, a type of opal, a crystallized opal of some type. Now, I find that fascinating because I take that and relate that back. If you just saw the video that I did over my Isetti Ranch regression and what I saw inside of that mountain next door to Mount Adams, uh, Sleeping Lady, I saw what is a, a type of a city in there. And it's like a crystalline city that looked almost like a type of very clear basalt. It could have been almost a type of opal. So is that a similar technology that we're seeing here, That what he's seeing up there? Now, there's certain things that he had pointed out that this, uh, I think the Jade Rabbit rover had taken pictures of. One is that, that pyramid. Another is this crater that has these rocks that are glowing in an odd way. The same way, same way opalized glass does. So on his, on his website, you'll see kind of some um, comparisons of that. Now, I find that interesting because he's long since been saying that the shard back there, a.k.a. the soul catcher, is made of some type of a glass uh, crystalline structure. So we're looking at some type of an opal, it appears. I find that very interesting. Uh, that's just things that I think that we need to deal with and seeing that when you look at that telemetry, actually, like when I look at it, I couldn't see always, and especially back when he first started... Richard Hoagland first started talking about that with Art Bell, and he put up on Art Bell's uh, website all these pictures, and this is the shard, this is that. I couldn't always see it, but I don't know what I'm looking at exactly. I'm not a photographer expert. But right now, I advise everybody 
go to enterprisemission.com, download those pictures, go to the Chinese website that he gives you the links to, check that stuff out before somebody pulls it down or they decide to change their mind on this disclosure. But what you're seeing is that some of the things that Richard Hoagland is saying was back there, and perhaps some of the myths and things about the moon, some things I remember seeing two moons in the sky in a past life here on this planet, I think all that is correlated very close. I'm going to look at these notes and see. I'll get a little excited on this to make sure I actually told you the things that were valid on here. Um, uh, that's it, actually. So check that out. Check out Richard Hoagland's EnterpriseMission.com. Look at the telemetry for yourself. Uh, find out the whole scope of the moon. And let's deal with some things that are more scientific in nature, not just strictly so far out in left field. We're starting to be able to isolate some of these things and the tangible reality of it. So check it out. Uh, thank you for all the people on Patreon that have followed me there. That's the only reason I'm still making any videos anywhere. There's a few people over there. It helps me a lot. So I want to thank them. Thank all the people. Please subscribe. Peace.